Welcome to a new machine tutorial. I'm your host Grits and Gravy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the humanize feature to get more interesting and better sounding melodies in machine. So what I want to do in this video is actually record something new for this beat and use the humanize feature and I'll show you how it works. So first let's listen to the beat and then I'll show you what I want to add to it and we'll go from there. Okay, so that's the loop so far and what I want to add is it's kind of like a guitar synth type sound so it sounds like this so that's the sound that I want to use we're gonna record a quick pattern and then we're gonna use the humanized feature so first let's record the the instrument Okay, so I could leave it that way, but I think there's a way to make it sound better. So now let me switch the camera view so you can actually see what my hands are doing and we'll use the humanized feature. So the first thing that you wanna do if you want to change all the notes at once is click on events. And then up here at the top, you wanna to click select. So it's the second button from the left. And then on the right screen, the first button is all so you want to select all the notes and then all your notes should light up and so now you want to click on this button right below events that says variation and navigate and if it doesn't stay locked on this screen what you do is you want to press up here in the corner when you hold it down just press this first button press this first button right here to keep it locked so when you switch it stays on that screen so now you see the second button says humanize so now you see options for your low and your high velocity and also the step so where the notes are actually landing on the grid what I'm going for in this song is I want it to kind of emulate a real guitar as much as possible so what I would do is I want to bring my velocity down pretty far I don't want it to hit really hard so this is why so listen to this sound when I hit it just regularly and now listen to it when I just tap when I tap the pad so you hear that really sharp sound at the beginning I don't want that so let's do low velocity around 40 and high velocity around 60 And I also want to play with the notes. So let's do a time shift of 5%. And then you just hit apply. Now that's exactly what I'm going for. So now let's listen to it with all the instruments back in just to see what type of groove we got going now. So. So that's how you use the humanize feature to change up your velocities and your time shift just to make it sound a little more realistic. So that's going to do it for this video. Once again, my name is Grits and Gravy. Please watch all my other machine tutorial videos. Also subscribe and hit the bell notification for when I drop new videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. All right, later.